Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at an SAT percent problem. So we have John invested in a stock that increased in value by 15% to 35.65. What was the actual increase in the stock's value? Now this problem, there are a few traps and there's a few things that we need to be careful of. So what we could do is we want to look at the initial value of John's stock. That we don't know, so we could let X represent the initial value of the stock. Now obviously on the test you wouldn't exactly label everything but you would just let X represent this value and move forward. So now if we think about it, the value of the stock was X and it increased by 15% to the value of 35.65. So if we take 15% of this stock X, we could write it as 0.15 times X. Because remember, 15% can be represented by 15 over 100, which translates to 0.15. So we're going to use the decimal form so that the algebra becomes easier. So the initial value plus the increase in value results in 35.65. So now when we're solving for x, remember when there's no number in front of the x, we can think of this as a 1. So we have 1x plus 0.15x gives us 1.15x. And this is equal to 35.65. So to find the value of x, what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 1.15. And if you punch this expression in a calculator, 35.65 divided by 1.15, this will tell us that x equals 31. But now this is where we need to be careful. It's very tempting, especially when there's no answer choices, to say, oh, I found the value of x, my answer is 31. But what we need to be careful of, the question is asking us, what was the actual increase in the stock's value? So that's where we really need to be careful that we don't put this as our answer. This, re this represents the initial value of the stock. So if we wanted to find the actual increase in the stock's value, how much did it change from 31 to 35.65? And to find the difference or the increase in the stock's value, we're going to do 35.65 minus 31. Now you could punch this in a calculator or if you want to do it by hand, you could put 0, .00 at the end. 5 minus 0 is 5. 6 minus 0 is 6. We throw our decimal down. 5 minus 1 is 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. So this tells us that the stock increased 4.65 points. So this here would be our answer. So real quick, before we end this video, even though the SAT is a time test and we usually don't have that much extra time, if you have an extra five seconds, you could quickly check that 4.65 is the correct answer. Remember, the initial value of the stock we found to be 31. So if we look at 4.65, which represented the actual increase in the stock's value, and we divide this by 31, this would represent the percent increase in the stock because it went up 4.65 out of the 31 original points. So when we divide this, 4.65 divided by 31, we should get 0.15. And this 0.15 represents the 15% increase in the stock's value. So this would confirm that our answer, 4.65, is correct. Okay, well this is going to conclude this SAT percent problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.